some cake from Bob here, and I am so excited to share with you our brand new Wayfinder Dog Controller. This just launched to the U.S. market, coming soon to Canada, and both of these fashions are going to be available in both countries. This is the Storm fashion, and the black here is the Nightfall. And what is really, really cool about the new Wayfinder Dog Controller is it's made in a more narrow footprint as well as more compact fold for somebody who might live in a city. So you have smaller spaces to store your items and sometimes smaller streets and sidewalks to actually push your child down. But the really cool thing is that you don't lose any capacity in terms of the child that fits in the seat. So it still holds a 65 pound child and you can also fit about 10 pounds or so of storage down below in the cargo area. Now, speaking of the cargo area, because we all bring a lot with us when we're out and about, we have a zip top cover that opens up. Great for the city. Again, if you're going out on a hike, it will protect everything that you're bringing with you. So that just zips closed like that. It also has a little pouch right here if you want to put your cell phone or some, you know, purse or something like, you know, your, your wallet. But yeah, it's really great. It is a, a more narrow uh, uh, basket and the purpose for that is so that we can get a more compact fold. So we are, again, wanting to store this Wayfinder in smaller spaces. So I'm going to show you the fold on it. Right now the back wheels are locked, but I'm going to demonstrate the parking brake before we do that. It's flip-flop friendly, very easy to use. So we want to lock those back wheels right before we fold it. And then it's a one-hand fold. You see in the front here, I'm just gonna open up the five point harness and then reveal where my handle is. And before I actually fold it, I wanna make sure that my handlebar here is adjusted because that's going to be what helps it stand on its own. So I'm just gonna pop this up like that and that's gonna be our kickstand. And then it's just gonna collapse when I pull that yellow lever to the right and pull up. That, I'm not sure if you caught it, but the, the back wheels actually reduce about three inches in width. So when you fold it, it is actually gonna get a little bit small, smaller, more compact. If you remove that front wheel, it actually continues to collapse more so into it. And the reason why it does that, I'm gonna open it back up so you can see. So it does have the chassis lock. We're just gonna squeeze the frame to unlock that. Pull it back open, push down the seat, unlock it. And in the back here, you can see it has independent dual suspension. And so when you're, you know, going down a, an all-terrain type of path and you're only hitting rocks and, you know, gravel on this side, this suspension right here is going to be what's taking that impact, whereas you're going to get the smooth ride on the other side. The other benefit to having independent dual suspension is that the way the frame is designed, it allows the back wheels to actually collapse in. So you can see the mechanisms right here that are going to fold within, bringing those back wheels in, making it a more narrow fold. Since we're back here, I'm also going to point out that it does have a nice recline, so you can actually bring the little ones out. When you're running, you're going to want to have that back seat completely upright. But if you're yeah. just taking them for a walk, it's great, nice and nice recline. You have an oversized canopy that does have that UPF 50 plus protection for the sun protection. And then the visor here does collapse into the canopy if you want that, but this is extra protection from the sun. You are going to have as well the peekaboo window. So if you're out and about and you just want a little bit of extra airflow going in from the back, this is great for that. But it's also great for that sleeping baby that might be in the recline position that you want to just peek in at every now and again. We did talk about the adjustable handle because I was talking about that in order to get that that stand um, when you're when you're folding it. But also, if you live in a hilly area, Boston, San Francisco, any any area that you're going to be running, and the, the stroller ends up pulling you down that hill, obviously you're going to want that wrist strap connected to you at all times. But it has a bike break on here, a nice easy to use handbrake that's just going to be that tapping of the brake to slow the stroller as you're heading downhill. It really does work really well. Um, it's easy for me to use. Um, some of the brakes are not as easy out there. Uh, since we're in this area right here, you can see that it does come with a cup holder. I love this cup holder because it's really universal. You can see how much it flexes. 
So some of those more popular tumblers out there that have the handles on them that are a little bit more robust, and they're gonna fit great in here. I've already tried it. And then when you come down here, if you have your child in the recline position, you can see that the back of the stroller seat makes it a little bit more difficult to get into your basket area. So what they designed here was just an access point right here. So if you're going out for a nice long walk, push all your bags to the front with the opening here. So when you need something, just dig in, grab what you need, and then you can close it back up again. It does have the five point harness, obviously, it's adjustable. You can see all the adjustment points, which is really important, especially if you're saying that you can use this child, this, this stroller from really birth. You're gonna, for birth, you'll use the, um, the adapters here. But when the child has head and neck control, there's no actual uh, age that we're putting on that. But if you have head and neck control, you can put the child in the harness, adjust it so it fits the child around the hip area, as well as in the shoulder area. It's very easy to use, button right here. And then as they're getting older and they have their snacks and their little toys, you do have little cup holders right here, little storage areas. So that is our Wayfinder jogging stroller. Last thing I'll mention is that it is a jogging stroller. So we forgot about the running component. So it is a swivel to lock front wheel. What I absolutely love about this front wheel is that it actually locks inward. We've had a lot of UGC uh, content that's get that's tagged, and it's not that the product's not being used correctly. Because when you're running, you need to have that front wheel locked. All of our other jogging strollers lock out like that. This one right here, when you click that knob, it actually locks the wheel under the stroller, making it easier for runners to actually have more control over that jog. You always want to have this locked because that's what's going to give you the stability. And the last thing that I'll mention is this knob right here is our tracking knob. A lot of people over, like they overlook this feature and they complain to us that maybe the jogging stroller is veering to the right or veering to the left. And it's such a simple adjustment. All you need to do is get your stroller in that locked position, turn it to the right. If it's veering in one direction, turn it to the left. If it's veering in the other, and you can just literally adjust it right until it's a straight line again. 30 pounds, so it's very competitive with the other strollers on the market. And it does, like I mentioned, um, hold up to 65 pounds, and the overall width of the stroller is 25 inches.